you know, the saga of Musk versus Twitter. We are coming up on the big trial date where Twitter is suing Elon Musk for specific performance to complete his promised purchase of Twitter at $54.20 a share. <coughs> As you know, the deal was called off by Musk when he discovered that Twitter had not been forthcoming with the amount of bots or fake accounts that reside on the platform. He wanted more clarification, and he's been met with vague data. After several attempts, he decided to end the deal. Well, here we are, and the lawsuit continues. In the latest move, Musk actually subpoenaed his friend and former, and former CEO and founder of Twitter, Jack Dorsey. Musk is seeking documents from Mr. Dorsey relating to the effect of false or spam accounts on the social media platform's business. Hmm. Musk is also seeking information about Twitter's use of, monetize, of monetiz, monetizable daily active users, or MDAUs, as an important metric and any other metric that the company might use to describe user or advertiser engagement. I have to say this is a bold move by Musk, and it also may reveal the truth about the purchase itself. You know, that was the conspiracy side of me thinking it out loud. Imagine... If all this was cooked up by both Musk and Dorsey as a hostile takeover disguised as a purchase, or maybe it's used for political reasons, or maybe the only reason that Musk claims that or wants to buy the company, which is for the end of censorship. It may just be as simple as that. Maybe Dorsey wants the same. In a tweet by Dorsey on April 25th, he stated his admiration and gave the blessing on the deal with Musk by stating... Elon is the singular solution I trust. I trust his mission to extend the light of consciousness. Those are pretty powerful words. It appears we have more of the makings of another good sequel here. The Twitter Story sequel will be almost as exciting as the Trump presidency sequel. Twitter says that Musk decided he wanted to back out of the deal because Musk can't finance the deal. Musk says that the information on the bots says the company isn't worth what he offered. It does sound like a typical renegotiation of a deal. You know, I've been through these before, you know, with real estate deals. I've made an offer only to discover that I made a mistake in my calculation of what I thought the property was worth, and I had to go back to the seller and renegotiate. The big difference was I didn't have a billion-dollar cancellation fee. The lawsuit will definitely be intriguing, and I'm looking forward to the trial and the outcome. I kind of hope they televise it. Hey, maybe we can get Johnny Depp or uh, Amber Heard to narrate it. Or maybe we can at least get Johnny Depp to play Elon Musk in the future life of Elon Musk. That could work. Hey, something to think about. We could probably use, uh, maybe we could even title the film something like, um, I don't know, Pirates of the Cannabis. All right, let's get to the next topic. Let's talk about student loans. <laughs> Pirates of the Cannabis. You guys get it? You know, Pirates of the Cannabis. Eh, never mind. All right, that was a bad joke. I just read it and like, all right. All right.